strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. No thing. to my youtube channel y'all already know who it is it's your girl queen Tiles crime yep back for another video today we are going to be discussing polygraphs okay the polygraphs um that allegedly the wells passed and we're going to discuss because we're going to discuss bathing and showering with toddlers First, let's go ahead and go into the polygraphs, okay? So, let's get into the polygraphs. First of all, polygraphs are not admissible. Mm -hmm. They're not admissible in court, so they can't be used. It is a tool that law enforcement use to help guide in an, in an ongoing investigation. It helps deter them the paths they need to go. We do not know what questions were asked in the polygraph. We, we don't know. Candace and Don came out in the beginning five months ago themselves and said Candace had to retake hers. Allegedly, she was too messed up and she did not pass the first time. This is what they said out of their own mouths. Don't forget it. In the beginning. The will said Candace didn't pass at first. Because allegedly she was so upset, so she had to go back. So, allegedly, like I said, I have not got the. Allegedly they passed. That's what we're going to say that. Allegedly they passed. Once again, it's not admissible. It's not admissible. And. They are still suspects. Mm -hmm. They are still suspects in this case with the disappearance of Summer Wells. They are still suspects. That says a whole lot all within itself. So they're not admissible in court. They're still suspects. There is no evidence of an abduction, and a baby just doesn't disappear off the face of the earth. So we gotta use our logical thinking here. Just because they allegedly passed their polygraphs does not mean they were not involved in some shape, form, or way. Me personally, I do not believe by what I've seen with my own eyes dealing with the wells and their stories changing, they can't keep a straight sentence of Nothing has been consistent with the wells. I personally do not believe they passed. I just don't. Now, law enforcement can lie and say they did. So we don't know if that's in play. Okay? But just because they allegedly passed, which we have been waiting for this confirmation for almost five months, doesn't really help the fact that they changed their statements. There's no proof of an abduction. They're still suspects. Doesn't change none of that. The facts still remain the same. Nothing has changed. Everything still remains the same. So we're still, where is summer? So once again, Allegedly, they passed, but it does not change anything. They're still suspects. They're still persons of interest. There is no evidence of an abduction. Where the hell is Summer? So they're still being looked at. Once again, five-year-olds, four-year-olds, they do not disappear off the face of the earth. 
someone knows where she at or knows what happened to Summer Wells. The Wells are not out the clear because they allegedly passed a lie detector test. Okay? Me personally, by what I've seen, all these five months with them, I don't know how or what questions were even asked. So I personally don't believe they passed. Okay? So let's move on to showering and bathing with the toddler. There are creators out there that are putting out narratives and supports of what Don Will says. Oh, he didn't mean it like that. Da -da 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 -da. And the people that are supporting him and what he said, calling black Americans niggers, are, are not black Americans. So you don't know how Don meant it. And it means you think like him, you're like him. Mm -hmm. If you're in support of someone saying a racial slur to a group of people, and you're trying to help narrate what he meant, you're just like him. Okay? For one, the people that are trying to narrate are not African or black Americans. So you don't know how we feel about that word. You don't know what our ancestors been through or what we've experienced on a day-to-day -day basis being black. So therefore, you can't speak on how we should feel or how we should take anything. You can't fucking speak to that. Understand? You can't speak to how a black American should feel about being called a nigger. You cannot speak to that. Okay? So you can fly away with, with trying to create a narrative on what Don Wells meant. Mm -hmm. You can do away with that. We, we don't give a damn. We, we heard what he said. We know what he said. And that's that on that. Period. Now, one second. Now, let's go on towards bathing or showering with a toddler. I've heard people state that, oh, it's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. Oh. I bathe with my toddler. But let me just say this, it's inappropriate. If you have an intelligent toddler like myself, at three, they should be starting preschool. So they're gonna be around other toddlers, boys and girls. A three-year-old or a four-year-old on up, at a certain age, should be taught privacy and Who's to not touch you? Where not to touch you? Only people are supposed to see you is your parents new. You taking a shower with your, especially if you have an intelligent toddler. They're going to point. They're going to ask questions. What is this? What is that? You're opening the door of their mind. Of They don't need to be looking at an adult anatomy at three years old. Inappropriate. That opens the door of them to go out into the world and feel like it's comfortable to be naked with another individual. You open the doors for them to be comfortable to point and ask questions to another toddler or another adult. That opens the door. That's why there are rules that you don't do. That's why they're there. So it is inappropriate to shower or bathe. And to, if you want to expose your, your toddler to your new body, that's on you. But at a certain age, you're exposing them of something that their minds are not ready to comprehend and grasp. And if you do that, you're opening up doors for a lot of things. So it is inappropriate. And you can look it up, Google it, as well as CPS on why there are rules why it's, 
you know, a girl should have her own room. A boy should have her own room. Everybody has to have their privacy. Toddlers need to be taught privacy. Who not needs to look at them? And that's just that on that. I'm finna get ready to go. I'll be back with a Jelani Days update. But I just wanted to state that because I'm watching a Mod Ivory trial. Peace.